delicious. Capture the flag. We've already lost two of our team. I think we can still win. Are you up to it? I think so. Sir? Okay, what do you think we should do? Capture the flag? That's one way to win. There's another. Wipe out the other team, and then the flag is ours. Then we'd have to clean all the dye out of the clothes. Don't worry about laundry. This is war. Put up in pairs. There's only two of us. Okay, one pair. You take the point. What's that? Don't you know anything? Yes, sir. No, sir. Fire! Oh! We surrender! We surrender! Oh! No prisoners! Gotcha! What? Could you turn that thing off? I want to talk to you. I can't. It's running a program. Okay, then pay attention. That was the school on the phone just now. So? They tell me you haven't been there in three weeks. Well, they're full of it. The wheel trans people say they drop you off there every day. Where do you go after that? Dancing. Don't give me that smart mouth talk. Mom, school is so boring. That's not the point. You lied to me. I thought you were in school all this time. Look, you don't go to school. The guidance counselor calls the social worker, and we don't get the subsidy we need for your new bed. Look, Mom, I don't care, okay? Well, you better start, Marty. Because I can't hold down a job and, and babysit you at the same time. They want to talk to you again. More counseling. They probably think I'm a horrible mother. Don't sure worry what they think about you. That's your specialty, isn't it, Marty? Dinner's in ten minutes. Too. I miss you too. No, 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 you don't have to take me out. I'll make dinner for us at my place. No, that makes perfect sense. I insist that you spend the night with me. Yes, I know how much you hate hotels. But listen, you know, I've got to go, so I'll, um, I'll see you tonight. I love you too. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, don't be silly. He's such a wonderful man. You know, I really want you to meet him sometime. It's my father. Your father? Mm. Nice flowers.
car's parked just over here. This is the type of thing I'm talking about. Ramps. What kind of other special equipment is this kid going to need? Here's a list of things you'll need to get at the ranch. Well, we can build our own ramps. What about this uh, special bed that he needs? My department will cover all your costs. Oh, good. This stuff's expensive. I know. That's why they need our support. The driver that hit Marty wasn't insured. So ever since the accident a year ago, and until things get settled in court, Marty's mother has to depend on social services. Which means you. He's already been through the system. I can help him out financially, but I can't seem to help Marty come to terms with his disability. That will be up to you. No, I think that's up to Marty. You must be Dr. Terry. Yeah. Rachel's told me a lot about you. Come in. Thank you. Oh, Marty's in his room on the computer. He just can't keep his hands off it. Marty? I got one of those. Looks a lot like that one. Is yours a 38633 with four mazes, 60 nanosecond RAM on the motherboard? I don't know, but it looks like that one. Maybe you could tell me how it works. Now you're assuming I want to go to your ranch. Well, your mom and your guidance counselor think that you might need some help dealing, dealing with my disability. Yeah. And like taking a gimp out to the country is going to make him feel a whole lot better. You want to hear me out? Ride him, cowboy. What is that, ride him, cowboy? I think it's a message. Well, of course it's a message. What does it mean? Maybe it means something uh, backwards. Um... Yabwak, me, a deer. Maybe not. It doesn't mean so much to me what it says, but who it's from. Corindia. Corindia knows this town is ours. Who? Someone new. Someone smart. Some cowboy. Not bad. I should hire you guys out. Yeah, you should. We're pretty good with our hands. Oh, uh, when you're out riding with Morris and Darlene, the special bed arrived. Where do you want to put it? I have to put it in the ranch house. Why are you sleeping there? Well, every other bedroom's up a flight of stairs. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah. Well, there's probably a lot of things we haven't thought about. Hi, we made it. Good. Can I give you a hand? I thought I told you back at the house that I don't need that kind of help. I meant with your bags. Did you bring your computer stuff? Yep. And you'd better have a decent system, man, because I'm not hooking my peripherals up to garbage. Marty. It's a 286 with a 40 mega hard drive. And I have no idea what that means, but that's what it said in the manual. He wants so much to be treated normally. Because he is, you know? Yeah. Except we don't see him that way. Even I have a hard time getting past the chair. So does Marty. It's only been a year. You both need time. It's hard work. Yeah, it is.
is. But he's worth it. Work hard with him, please. I will. <laughs> You're not eating much. Don't you love this food? What's the best thing about this party? Henry, don't talk with your mouth full, huh? You know, I don't need to eat as much as most people. I don't get a lot of exercise. I was in lung capacity. I could exercise at four. I got great lungs. You sure do, honey. Yeah, okay, you wish. We don't need that at the dinner table, you guys. Michael, you're so uptight about sex. I'm talking about the volume. Keep it down. Speaking of keeping it down, don't you like it? Yeah, I like it. I just can't eat certain things. It must be really hard not to be able to do things that everybody else can do. Yeah, just don't let it break your heart, all right? I mean, even walking, like, I didn't even realize how great it is. Yeah, it is. until you met me, I know. And I'm glad you've all had a chance to see a gimp. I didn't mean it that way. Just forget. Forget what? <sighs> Nothing. Look, just don't use how lousy my situation is to make yours look better, all right? Did I do that? Look, what are you here for anyway? Is opening your big mouth? I ran away from home to become a hooker, all right? If you don't want to talk, it's fine with me. The chair is real. You want us to ignore it, we got to get used to it. We can't just pretend it doesn't exist. Really? Well, I live in it. That's right. Can I be excused? <laughs> The turnips, Morris. This time of night and a lot cheaper too. What are you doing? Just downloading from a BBS. BBS? Yeah, bulletin board system. Oh. Guess you don't know that much about computers. <laughs> no. I bought it to help with the accounting. Got a good program? It's in the hard drive. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, right, a hard drive. Okay. Look, if you want, I'll show you how to set it up and show you how to run it for you, no problem. Well, I'd appreciate that. I'd also appreciate it if you got some sleep. It's getting late. I dream I can run. Oh, it's all right to dream. Strikes at night. And what if he plants a virus? Gina won't let me make a backup. You just trace the call. Gina wants this guy. He's in. Oh, get the number! Get the number! He's downloading! What? How can you do that? He's gonna have all our records. That's what I warned you about. Turn it off! Turn it off! He's gone. Gina's gonna kill him. That's right. Uh, we got a number. Well, most of one, anyway. He's out of town. He stole my information? He downloaded everything. You told me this thing was foolproof! Gina, this guy's good. He stole everything? All the bets, every race, every damn horse? And the names of everybody who placed a bet. Look at your desk. Closer. Please, Gina. Please. Please. Uh. 
trace that number. You find out who this wise guy is, or your face will look like your friends here. Okay, what do I do now? Well, you save it. From what? <laughs> no, it doesn't rescue. You just store it. And that's it? Yeah, you got it down. Michael, Marty's got this thing all set up for us now. We didn't have our field set up. Oh, that's what it was. Yep, now we can do all our accounting on this little baby right here. Yeah, we just need some money to account for. Well, you know, if you want, I could probably top in your bank's computer, maybe transfer some funds over. Wow, you could really do that? Guys. Mind you, breaking into a bank's computer would be hard as breaking into its safe. Plumber. Marty, I'll make a deal with you. For every hour you spend on this thing, you spend two hours outside. Come on, man. I spent half the night here. Good. That's a full day outside. I'll come back later. I want to learn from the master. Where they can move like that. I think they're in love. They're both males. How do you know? I've got a better angle. <laughs> I'm sorry I got you mad at me last night. It's okay. I just... Never knew anyone in a wheelchair before. You want I... to know stuff, you know, everybody does. Yeah, I guess I'm just curious. Well, uh, what do you want to know? No, forget it. No, I'm serious, why? So, uh, you can't feel anything in your legs at all? Nothing. See, the accident severed the nerve completely, and that was it. And where does it stop? What do you mean? I mean, where does the feeling end? Well, why do you want to know that? I mean, well, if you wanted to, you know, could you do it? Do what? Well, you know. It's none of your business. Sorry, I just... This one's yours, Marty. What do you mean? It means you're going riding. I can't ride. We got a special saddle for you. I said no! Give it a chance, man. You don't seem to understand. Everything you try and do for me, every single word just points out this chair. You're not helping. <laughs> All the special equipment in the world, it's not gonna matter unless we get it to really pay off. I'll try again tomorrow. Where's the rest of the conversation? That's all we got. It's a real hard thing that thing just right. But you think this is the guy? Oh, it's gotta be. The number we traced is either this guy's, a bunch of numbers that aren't even listed anymore, or another guy up the road we paid a visit to. Yeah, a really nice old couple. Yeah, they gave us tea. No computer, though. Yeah, this Terry guy's got an unlisted number, too. Uh, we can't be positive it's him until we uh, have a talk with him. Why didn't you? Looks like this guy's got a private army. We could have shot our way in. Yeah, we could have. But we figured on talking to you first. What's the money on tomorrow's races? Nothing special, about 100,000 in bets. He knows every off-track bet placed in our system for two days, and he doesn't make a move? It looks to me like he spends a lot of time with one of his kids. Yeah, yeah, the kid in the wheelchair. Tell him. I want you to have a chat with this guy. Okay.
Hey, Michael. What brings you to town on this fine day? I had to bring one of my kids in for physio, and I thought I'd drop by the neighborhood, see how you do it, see how the ticket business is. <laughs> it's not bad enough. I keep it as kind of a sideline. Why, you have a deal? Well, I was thinking as I was driving in, Marty, the kid I have to bring in, he spends a lot of time in front of a computer. Sounds boring. Yeah, well, he spends all his time in a wheelchair, and I thought that, well, he needs to chill out. I figured maybe if there's a good club with some hot music. Well, you shouldn't say that, you know. I've come tonight at Harold's, the hottest jazz club in the city. I'm going to. I know the bass player. Is he good? Let's just say he's the best. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> great songs, man. Hey, I'll leave tickets for you at the door. Thanks, Ben. See you later. Yeah. Oh, Ben. Yeah. What time? Anytime after eight. Jamaican guy's one of his boys. Yeah. Yeah, looks like he's setting something up. This deal's getting thicker than your sister's makeup. I can't believe you don't like pepperoni. I like a plane. Isn't the car that way? The car? Do you like music? Yeah, I love music. Come on. I'll show you. Business as much as he does. Hey, I don't know. Hey, come on. Hey, tell me. Hey, hey. 
What do you want to have? Hey, get out of here. I said, get out of here. Hey, what's the problem? Hey, I just want to ask a few questions. Don't crowd me, man. Oh. Gentlemen, can I oh. help you? Gino wants to know your plans. Gino. Yeah, very funny. I think you must be looking for somebody else. Now, if you'll excuse us. Who is Gino? So you don't have any idea who those guys were last night? Thought that kind of stuff happened in nightclubs all the time. <laughs> Not to me, it doesn't. I guess they must have mixed us up with somebody else. Yeah, weird. Yeah. I think I broke that one guy's shins. Never had such a great time before. <laughs> have you given any thought to when you're going to be going home? You can, you know, anytime you want. You want me to go? No, but I want you to know that you can whenever you want to. But just remember that when you do go, that chair is going with you. Yeah, you don't have to tell me that. Yeah, well... Marty, I don't want your time here to be like some kind of medication that's going to run out as soon as you leave. I won't. I can ride a horse, you know? I made some new friends. Darling, and just remember, buddy, while you're both here, no hanky-panky. This is fun. Riding, I like it. Well, I figured you might. Did you find out if this terror is the man we're looking for? It's got to be. And he's got at least two guys working for him. Who? I don't know. But, uh, and I think this is key. I don't think they know who we are. Tony, you're confused. They broke into our computer in the first place. They know. Capiche? Bring me one of Terry's boys. I'll be out front in the store. Marty, how come you learn so much about computers? Oh, I love computers. They're just there, you know, they don't judge. And I do, right? Oh, let, let's forget it, huh? So what can you do on this thing? Anything I want. Could you, say, beam into my old school records and make me a browner? Sure. Get out. Oh, I really could. Watch this. What's that? Well, I don't know exactly. It's somebody's computer, right? I just kind of break in and leave little messages. <laughs> just click up one of these and it shows up on their screen. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what's this one? Don't go! What? What? Oh, I have to have a backup. What did I do? Well, you insert a logic bomb into their system. It's going to go off next time they use their computer. I did? Yeah, you see, I just made it for fun. I never meant to use it, but it's going to wipe out both file allocation tables on the hard drive of the network server. Oh, no. Yeah, look, don't worry about it, though. I mean, they can't trace it. I don't think. What? Let's not uh, tell Michael about this, huh? like we know who you are. He said sit. Let him stand. I want you to pass on a message for me. I don't appreciate your friend trying to break in. My friend? You and him broke into my business. <laughs> you think I broke into your dry cleaners? Oh, you're good. Really the best. I wish my men were half as good as you and the, uh, the other black guy. Who? Right. Who? What's a permanent press mean to you? Ugly clothes, what do you mean? I mean in making book on a race. If you don't tell me, I'll blow you away. Well, I'm sorry, man. You have to do what you have to do, but I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. I know when a man is hiding something. 
If I offered you no starch in a triactor, what would you say? I don't have any idea. That's what I thought. Get out of here. Bruno. How do you like riding? Oh, it wasn't bad. Felt pretty good. I love it. It's like your body and the horse are one. I'm sorry. No, I felt the same way. Uh, thought I might have sounded, you know, the way I put things. Don't worry about the way you put things. It's just sometimes I no, it's... put... I do, though. I'm always saying the wrong thing. Block guy. I just got to learn to, to stop telling people not to treat me like I'm going to break like a piece of glass and then going ahead and breaking like... A piece of glass. Yeah. I think... I think I'm the one who should apologize. When I was at a special school right after the accident, I met this blind person who got mad every time I said, see you later. Why? Well, see you later. Oh. I never thought of that. I'd be putting my foot in it every second with him. Her. Say, uh, you know the other day how uh, you asked me, you know, uh, how I'd be able to do it? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know exactly. I've just never uh, done it before. Don't laugh. Neither have I. I thought you said... Yeah, the first guy whose face I trust enough to go through with it turned out to be a cop. So you're... Not as different from you as you thought. Either the Jamaican guy is lying, or he really doesn't know what Terry's up to. Or he forgot. No, I'm telling you, Terry's smart. He's trying to throw us off the scent. But on the other hand, I run the biggest off-track betting syndicate in the city. What's he want? What's he waiting for? He's yeah. lost! Everything's just disappeared! What are you saying? The hacker planted a virus or something. Everything's erased, except a message. What did it say? Bang. You're dead. No. He's dead. Get out of my face! Ah! Michael Terry's gonna join his kid. In a wheelchair. What do you think? You like women in uniform? Some women, yeah. I guess you'll be able to watch the war game on your computer. Well, not really, but uh, both teams have to call in their secret code when they've reached a checkpoint. And what's our code? Well, that'd be cheating. You mean you won't even tell me? Not even if I... In your dreams, maybe. Yeah, yours too, Marty. Okay, soldiers. This is the grudge match. The championship. The final jeopardy of war games. Morris, you're captain of the green team. I lead the red. You're dead meat, red. Save it for the battlefield, captain. Now, CC will be waiting for us at the flag. Michael will help Marty use the computer to coordinate the whole battle. Each team has to check in with Marty when they reach their checkpoints. They won't make it to their checkpoints. Okay, wear your masks at all times. Oh, and above all, if you see Fox in the woods, do not shoot at her. She might shoot back and she doesn't use paint. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, move it up. Marty, we're heading out. That's the ranch. Where? Well, it's in there. 
just past the trees. What's the matter with the driveway? What would you do if someone drove up to your house with a bunch of guys? The alarm would go off and you'd probably shoot them. Roger, Vic. Proceed to checkpoint one. The game is afoot. Out. I'm glad you decided to play, Marty. Well, I think you guys really needed somebody running things who knows how to play the game. You used to play? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad either. Anyways, uh, that, that's the flag right there. So, you wait here, we go in, bring him to you. You can rough him up a little, but leave his legs alone. I want to break them myself. Okay, Gino, his legs are yours. There's our checkpoint. Joe, you go up on ahead and check for an ambush. We'll cover you. Green team reporting from checkpoint one. Code Alpha, Charlie, Baker, Lima. All right, Morris, that's confirmation here at checkpoint one. OK, people, we're first. Let's keep moving. That was quick. Yeah, it should be right about here. Lost Vic? No. Supposed to be some great trap. You can't even find a piece of paper with letters on it. Did you see which way Darlene went? The other way. You better tell Michael what's going on. I can't. My walkie-talkie fell out when we took off. Well, then we gotta find Morris. We can use his. All right, this way. Hmm. Vic hasn't checked in yet. Uh, Darlene will find the checkpoint. Hmm. I'm glad you two are getting along. She speaks her mind, huh? But that's good. She's finally allowing her feelings out. Please do me a favor and don't make her walk on eggshells every time she asks you a question. Well, she asks some pretty stupid questions. Well, maybe she cares about you and wants to know more about you. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. If she does, she's weird. Why? Because she's a runaway? You've run away from a situation yourself. Run? That's a bad choice of words. Surrender or get splattered! Game's over, Morris. Give me your walkie-talkie. No! Don't get on my nerves, Morris. Michael, come in. This is Vic. Yeah, Vic, what's up? Some guy took a shot at us in the woods. I think he's heading towards the ranch. I'll ask him if he's anywhere near his checkpoint. I hear you, Marty. We're a little north of you. Michael, I don't know what he wants. Well, make sure the kids are safe. I'll round him up and head to the road. I think we'll be safer there. Okay, I'll call the cops. Over and out. I don't know what the hell this is all about. Look, uh, I think I do. See, I erased somebody's computer by accident. It must be them. Probably uh, somewhere around here. It'll be a while before they reach us. Who? Well, I don't know. I was just hacking. You broke into somebody's computer? Yeah, I erased their database by mistake. Oh. Yeah, hi, this is Michael Terry. Somebody saw someone on my property with a gun. Yeah, could you? Okay, good, thanks. All right, I've downloaded the whole thing. We'll just give it to him. 
Why did you do it? Look, you want to see it or not? Yeah, I want to see it. Morris! Morris! Everybody follow me. Come on. Freeze! Don't shoot. Whose team are you on? Geno's. Get up against the tree. Now! You guys all right? Down, get down. Stay down, okay? I'll go first. You guys stay here. Hey, CC! Is that you, Morris? Yeah, I got a prisoner here. Oh, who is it? I don't know. I thought you might know him. I never saw him before in my life. I work for Gino. Who? Here, like after this guy. I'm gonna go check on the others. What about the flag? It's just a game, CC. It's an off-track betting operation. I knew it'd be something weird. This column is the horse. This one is the amount of the bet. I don't know what that one is. It looks like a dry cleaner's list. It is. You want something pressed, you're betting to win. Just clean, to place. You get the idea. You guys aren't as smart as we thought. My name's Michael Terry. I think there's been some kind of a mix-up. You bet there's been a mix-up. Come on, let's go. Well, let me explain. Uh, you can explain to Gino. He wants to break your legs. Personally, you two get me. The police are on their way. I just phoned them. Just move. thing on the disc right here, okay? I got the whole thing on the disc. That's what you really want, right? Give me that. No, I'll destroy it unless you let him go. Look, I so much as bend it and everything's destroyed. I mean it. Drop it! You think I'm gonna fall for that? The lady said to drop it, mister. Believe me, this isn't paint. take me to do the books on this thing? A couple of hours? Now that Marty's got this accounting program worked out, I can do the whole thing in exactly the same amount of time as it took me to do it with a pencil. Well, yeah, but, but that thing never needs sharpening. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it. Marty, I thought we weren't going to spend as much time at the computer. I know. I'm going to move with some friends tonight. I just want to finish a letter I'm sending to Michael. Miss him already, do you? He invited us to come up and ride with him next long weekend. 
He told me. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I think. Just think I'll tell him that. What's happening, man? What's happening? It's, uh, you must hit the wrong key. Yeah, Greg. Well, what do I do? It's, it's going haywire. I did that. The keyboard's frozen. 